What's going on, everybody? Ray from Philly here on Sunday, June 18th. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. This is another episode of what I like to call the Call to the Hall, episode number 18. These are rookie cards of players that aren't in the Hall of Fame that I feel are just close of getting there. I like to call it also a uh, almost Cooperstown list. And these are players that I feel that I'm going to say I think should be in, has a shot to get in, or... I feel should be in, but aren't going to get in. So I'm going to share the first 17 episodes with you. It should only take a minute. I'm just going to show a quick slideshow of all the rookie cards from the previous 17 episodes in case you wanted to look at some of these cards to uh, purchase and then take it from there. So let's get right to the past call to the hall episodes going from 1 to 17. In episode number one, I showed the 1958 Tops Veda Pinson rookie. I have this in a PSA 5. I do think he should be in, and I think he still has a good shot on the Veterans Committee in the somewhat near future. Episode two, I showed the 1969 Tops Al Oliver rookie. <clears throat> I think he should be in, but I don't think he will. I just don't think he's getting enough Hall of Fame love. So this is what I would consider an almost Cooperstown player. Episode 3, 1969 tops Greg Nettles rookie. Craig Nettles rookie. I think he should be, but I don't think he will get in. In episode number 4, I showed the 1970 tops Daryl Evans rookie. I have this in a PSC 7. I think he should also be in, but I don't think he's getting enough hobby love or Hall of Fame love. Uh, over 400 career homers was a big time slugger. Just don't think he's just getting enough um, support. Episode number five, I showed the 1992 Bowman Carlos Delgado rookie. I think he, he should definitely be in, and I do think he eventually will get in uh, on the Veterans Committee. He's off the BBWA ballot. I'm not sure why he hardly got any support on there. This guy was a great hitter, way over 400 homers, just short of 500. But I do think he eventually is going to get in. Episode number six, this, this player has grown on me each and every day. The 1993 Tops Jim Edmonds rookie. I have this, I think, in a PSA 9. <clears throat> this is one of the greatest defensive center fielders of all time. I think he is starting to grow some in support for the Hall of Fame. So I do think in medium to near, medium to long term future, he'll get in. Episode number seven, the 1971 Tops Bobby Gritch rookie. I have this in a seven. I think he should also be in, but I and I think he will get in. I think he's getting a lot of support. I won't be surprised if on the next veterans ballot, he's on the same ballot, I think, with Dick Allen. And I think he's got a really good, strong chance to get in. He's growing in support. Episode number eight, I showed the 94 top traded Paul Konerko rookie. I don't think as of right now, he's getting a lot of uh, Hall of Fame support. So this would be a long term goal. In episode number nine, I showed the 1955 Tops Ken Boyer rookie. I did. I think he definitely should be in. I think this is a medium long-term goal. I think in the next maybe 10 years or less, he'll get in. In episode number 10, I showed the 2001 Bowman Chase Utley rookie. And I have this card in a gem in 10. And he's going to be on uh, the ballot for the first time this coming January of 2024. And I think he's going to be somewhat similar to how Scott Rowland get, got in. I think he'll get in. His Sabre metrics are really great for second baseman. And I think it'll be similar to Scott Rowland in year five or six on the BBWAA ballot. He'll get in. Episode 11, I showed the 67 tops Reggie Smith rookie. Uh, I, I'd like to see him get in. I think this is a very long-term goal. Uh, he's not getting enough Hall of Fame support, in my opinion. Episode 12, I showed the 64 tops Tommy John rookie. I have this in a seven. I think this is a short-term goal. I think he's got a really good shot, especially after Jim Cock got in. Tommy John has more wins. It's crazy that he's not in. I think in the near future, he will. Episode 13, the 91 Ultra Update Luis Gonzalez rookie. I have in a gem in 10. I think this is a long-term goal. Um, it, it's going to be, if he does get in, way past 10 years from now. So that's a long-term futuristic goal. Episode 14, I showed the 86 Donners Fred McGriff rookie. I have an a 10. When I did that video, he wasn't elected yet. Since then, he has been elected. 
Matter of fact, next month he gets inducted. So I did hit on one. In episode 15, I showed the 99 Bowman Chrome Tim Hudson rookie. Um, I think this is a long-term goal. I think eventually, maybe 15 years down the road, he'll start to grow and support. In episode 16, I showed the 2005 Tops Update Nelson Cruz rookie. I have this in a 10, but this is really not the card to get. PSA on the future Hall of Fame set registry selected as 2005 Tops Chrome Update. So now I'm going to be looking to pick up uh, a 2005 Topps Chrome update. Do I think he'll get in? I think in medium goal, medium term goal, he, he might, especially if he gets to 500 career homers. That will help him if he gets to 500 homers. In the last episode, number 17, I showed the 75 Topps Keith Hernandez rookie. I have this in a PSA 8. Uh, I think in the short to medium term long goal, he will get in. He's growing in support. The Mets retired his number, which is a, a good thing to help gain some more momentum for the player to get in. So I do think that's a, a rookie card you should also be looking at. And today in episode number 18, I'm here to show you the 1973 tops Dwight Evans rookie. And give a closer look at this card now. This is my embracing pickup. I have Dwight Evans. This is the PSA 7. Dwight Evans was a really, really outstanding player for the Red Sox. Had a great arm in right field. Clutch hitter. Many all-stars. Uh, in his last ballot on the Veterans Committee, he got eight votes. You need 12 to get in. So he is definitely growing in momentum and support for the Hall of Fame. So this is a rookie card that if you're looking to purchase a player, that has a, a fairly near future shot to get in. This is the player that I would recommend right now is to get the Dwight Evans rookie. PSA 7. There's a, also the Mike Schmidt rookies in that same year. Uh, there's not a lot of Hall of Fame rookie cards in, in this set. So it would be nice to see another car from 73 get in. And there you have it, episode number 18 to the Call the Hall. Little announcement here uh, next Saturday, June 24th. I will be on Hobby Palooza, Palooza uh, on Bench Clear Media Network. Uh, I'm going to have two guests on uh, Victor from the Rookie Card Specialist and Bart of Bart's Cards. Uh, we're going to be discussing next month, uh, we'll be launching again uh, the Baseball Card Hall of Fame and going over some of the uh, cards that are going to be on the ballot for this upcoming year. So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned for that. And there you have it, guys. I appreciate you, your likes and comments. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Call of the Hall. Till then, like I always say, have fun with it. See you real soon.